Hello. So we're going to start off with uh, what this video is all about. And right over here, we have these triangle toolboxes. Got all these tools in here. Yeah. Screwdrivers. Uh, little nut drivers. Hammers, pliers, ratchets. Allen wrenches. The biggest problem is, so they're in your pickup. These probably weigh 100 pounds full with all the tools in them. I make a cart that is on four wheels and I can put it right here and I just grab my toolbox and I slide it on the cart. Then I can roll that cart around in the shop use it if I'm working on the skid loader, or pickup, or tractor, or whatever. When I want it in my pickup, I just slide it up to the pickup, push it in, and it's already in the pickup. This pickup is 30 and a half inches off the ground, but if you come over here, it's 33 inches off the ground because, you know, we got a flat tire. Really, Dad? And this pickup's 34 inches. So I just want it to be easy where you can adjust it to any pickup. And maybe that's too much work, so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. This is three foot long. Four inches times two. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So we got that figured out. So we need, we really need 20 foot. So there's the main drawing. It looks like a grill. It's gonna work. Third gen Cummins. Finally getting some love. Got all of our new parts in. We got our new manifold. Our piping. Piping to our exhaust. Clamps. Drain hose, new manifold gasket, and over here is the good stuff. The turbo. Look at that. Copper candy, if you're wondering the color. Got an air filter with it. First things first is uh, we got the truck lowered all the way to the ground just so you're not on your tippy toes trying to work on this thing. So we got nice and low. And you can just reach right in here. Gotta pull this manifold off first, hoping these bolts come out easy. Like butter. So right here we have our EGT probe fitting that was sitting right there. Well, Talon snapped it off, so now we don't have one. Thanks, Talon. That's Daddy Zach, and this is Talon. Zach's pulling the last bolt. There we go. He's coming off. Oh, head's cracked. Pull it. So here's the old one. This was a Steed Speed, I believe. And then here's the new one. And I'm not sure what brand this new one is. Do you know? BD. BD? What's that? BD Diesel. BD Diesel. Now that there is homemade. What do you say? Now we're just kind of throwing some pipe dope on these fittings. They do have uh, O-rings. So we're just throwing on there to reassure we have no leaks. Don't snap it off like you snapped off the other one, dude. Mr. Muscles over here. Truck is getting her wings back. Got manifold in. There's two new uh, Allen bolts for the center because I'm assuming you probably can't get these studs in just because of how this is designed. Got all those torqued down. We torqued them to 30 pounds. First things first is we're gonna tip this down and drain some antifreeze out. Cut that back here, put a bolt in it, and then do this one. Once we get that done, then we gotta put our studs in here. Let's hold the turbo on. You just thread it into here, like so. You want me to guide in the yeah. drain tube? We just fitnessed. We just fit fitness this turbo under the hood. That looks way smaller under there now. I told you it was a baby. <laughs> I wanted to go twins, but twins without piping was 6700 bucks. Putting our new turbo in. We got our oil line in. Compressor inlet housing is tightened down. We're trying to get the exhaust out here, so with the other turbo, since there was twins, there was one all the way down there. So I took a clamp off down there, and I'm hoping this thing will just slide out. Oh, yeah. Here's the old one. Let by the new one here. A little longer and it goes up higher. Looking at it, I think it's gonna be right on. Ow! Ow! Uh -oh. Ow! We got hair. Grab my hand. Okay, pick me up just a little bit. Creepers and long hair don't mix. Dang it. But, we look underneath here. Got the clamp on, new exhaust. So we got turbo in, everything hooked up. Got the exhaust all the way down hooked up. Um, all we gotta do now is hook up the intercooler from here down to here. Wish that boot's getting kind of crappy. And then we need to hook up the piping that goes over here for the uh, Filter. 
So shouldn't be too much left. I had to run into town and get uh, on this intercooler here on the hot side. There's a clamp that clamps it to the turbo. It didn't come with this O-ring, so we're into town and got one. But I gotta go bail quick. So we're gonna go bail, uh, come back, and hopefully get the rest hooked up here. Just got back from bailing for Zach. He was kind of working on this while I was gone. He's getting this all hooked up to the, this is the intercooler. Just about got done. Just got to get a clamp on there. They sent us the wrong one. And then when we were doing the other one, we, we were taking the EGT hook up here out. It broke, so we got to get one of them, but I think we can run it without. Then we got to get one clamp here, so. We're getting real close to firing around. We got the housing here for where the air filter goes. This is for the crank house uh, crank vent, case. crank case vent. And then this one is for our mass airflow sensor. Uh, the way he has it tuned, he's not using the mass airflow sensor. And then this one, we're just gonna make a plate and use these little screws and cap it back off. I think we're gonna do the same with this one unless I get it retuned. I'm not sure yet. I might just leave it, see how it runs. And if it doesn't run good, I'll have my ECM sent off, retuned, throw it back in, and might use the mass airflow sensor. But for now, we're gonna throw it in and get the filter on. I think we can fire it up. So running into an issue here, once we got our piping on here, it's hitting this sensor. Um, obviously there used to be an extra batter here, but when he put the twin set up and he took it out, I think he put that solenoid there. So we're just gonna take the two screws out and drop it for now. Make sure everything runs and then relocate that when the time comes. Got the air filter on, everything's hooked up. Dead. Need more juice. I'm surprised it's not charged. All right, test two, not gonna go, but we'll try. God, she's dead, 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 dead. Take three with a little more diesel power. Closer. Take number four. As far as I know, as far as Zach knows, everything's in, hooked up, except for I gotta make plates for these to block these off. She fits. We ain't got much room here, and we ain't got much room by the alternator, but it does fit. The only thing we need to get now is for the uh, EGT sensor, so we need to get an adapter to that. What's this little probe right here sticking to the manifold? I left uh, these inner fenders off. So we could get up in there to the manifold. Mm. Drove it yesterday to town. Uh, so we let the turbo get good and warm. And then we checked the manifold bolts. I just checked those and kind of re-tighten them, make sure none of them are loose. None seem to be loose. So now we can we can put this under well, the fender back in on both sides. I just left the other side off too. And then we can put the uh, uh, mud flaps back on. Here she is, guys. Looking good. Gosh, the sun is messing with the camera. Hood up, because it's Cummins, right? These are the inner fenders. All these do is protect the mud and rocks from getting up in your engine bay. Kind of keeps that area clean. I'm hoping I can put those on, put the tires on. I am missing a cap, if everyone's wondering. I lost, well, actually I lost two. Kind of looks weird without it. A little weird, a little weird. But once they put the new wheels on, it won't even matter. Right, we got this first ender fender in. We actually did not have to pull the uh, tire off. Um, now we're gonna mount the mud flap. Got a few holes over here. This is kind of mangled up, but it'll do. If you guys like my $5 chop job with the grinder to make them fit, my kickbacks looks good. So we gotta do a little, little straightening to our fender here. I cut a bunch off when uh, it was not leveled. So I'm hoping I can just kind of straighten that out and then I might just buy new ones eventually. I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest. I'm gonna get it straightened out a little bit so the tire doesn't catch that, and then try and mount it up. First one on. Just took a hammer and kind of straightened that piece of metal out. The whole point of the kickback is so your mud flap doesn't come straight down here. It gives you a little more room. It kicks back, and then it comes down. So you got a little more turning radius. Turn it back just a hair. Look at that. That is a sign of satisfaction. We got this one on. We got a little bit of rubbing, but that's full turn. So before I can only turn my wheel about a quarter. Oh yeah. When I bought my power stroke, it came with some extra LEDs, so put them in. So it's hard to tell. This is a half light. This is my reverse light. 
Those are the old ones? Those are the new ones. In the dark, it's really hard to tell. Uh, you can tell how good one does over here. And you can see how dull it is over there. Oh yeah, now you can see a difference. No clue what brand these were. They came in a package. This, reverse backup lights. That's it, I don't have any way of telling. Maybe that little number will tell you. But these things are bright. I know my power stroke. I love how bright they are when I back up. I'm gonna put these in. By the way, I think it's like so hot to put on paper, I'm pretty sure it catch on fire. So don't tick that out when it's hot. Or when you've been using it for a couple minutes. Cause wow, is it hot. Nice and bright. I know it's still daytime, but you can kind of get an idea. Kind of light it throws off here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then my power truck also came with these extra headlights. I got one in because you can get to it because the extra battery's out. But I gotta drop the bumper to get this light out, I think, so I can uh, replace that bulb. I think that one's just reflecting off of here, off the tractor. But there's the new one. Hopefully they work. I don't know why he had them in a box, but they're doing weird stuff. And it might be because the battery's dead. I'm not sure, but we'll look into them. We'll see, we'll figure it out. I just got a new EGD probe because the other one <clears throat> that I had when we took the fitting out of the uh, manifold, it broke. So got the screw here, I'm just loosening it now. Gonna take these down, route the wires down. Pull my new one through, stick the probe into the manifold. Now I'll go take her for a test drive, and make sure she works. What's up, beauty girl? Huh, you got a haircut last night? Your flower looks so good. Hi, baby. Mm. How you doing? How you doing? So we're gonna keep moving on here. Here's what we got. I'm hoping I can just take that apart and wire it into this one, but we'll see. I don't know what this looks like. Zipping ties and boom, boost, baby. Or cutting ties, sorry. Got a couple more to cut here, and then it goes up into the firewall, up and in. So I'm hoping it goes down underneath and somewhere in this cluster. I hope. The wire ran over here. We got it all mounted in there. Ran through the firewall. Do some really jank wiring just to get it to work, but not many wire connectors. Uh, just smash the ends together on the plug-ins. Move. Oh, we got something. I got the gauge changed to white here so you guys can see it. We're gonna get on it a little bit and see what we're reading for uh, temperatures. Matching rims on, just had them swapped. Looking good. Got them on. So now what we're doing now is, um, here's older rims by the way. One's over there, because we already had one swapped. Got these kickback mud flaps on, and I cut this one so it doesn't hit. Uh, I cut that one before I leveled it. And now I gotta cut this one. I don't know if you can see where my back black lines are here. I got one here, one here. We're just gonna cut that off. So hopefully um, my tire when I turn misses. All right, there's our final cut. We're gonna crank the wheel here and see if she misses. Ah, she still catches. My agenda for this thing today is I need to wire those uh, wires together for the EGT probe and strap up the wires underneath the hood. I think we're good. And I gotta get it aligned, but I gotta have someone do that. I'll just bring it to the shop and have them do it. Not really sure how you do it. All right, we got uh, all wired together, put uh, some heat sh shrink over it. I think she'll work, so I'm just gonna run this back up in there. Run the gauge back up into the holder here. Put everything back up. Put all of our mess away. Everything cleaned up here. Strap everything under the hood. Should be good to go. 